Dear Scopers, the past few weeks have been especially interesting, turbulent, but also challenging for us as Southern Cameroonians. As you may know, on the 1st of October, we celebrated the anniversary of our independence and the restoration of our statehood. It was beyond imagination what we saw our people do on ground zero. Women, men, girls, boys, they all went out in several villages to celebrate our statehood. It was magic to see because for once we saw our people come out without being prompted or organized as it was the case last year in 2017. I want to seize this opportunity to thank our people and to continue to encourage them to show leadership and to show us the way like they did on the 1st of October. May I also take this opportunity to praise our boys on Ground Zero who have shown courage like we never imagined. Times are there when we have faltered, but they have stayed the course and they have shown that we maybe have been a peaceful people we may have been open to discussions, to dialogue, to negotiations, but that does not mean that we are cowards. Once again, I salute the boys on Ground Zero. As the Southern Cameroon's Congress of the People, SCOPE, the next few months will be especially interesting, but at the same time, they will be especially challenging. As you know, 2018 has been a year largely of wasted opportunities. We had planned when we were rounding up 2017 that 2018 will be the year for the internationalization of our struggle. Unfortunately, we spent the better part of the year in witch hunting and carrying out all other activities but the activities that could have taken the struggle to the next level. That means that we will have to dedicate the next year towards realizing the goals that we had set for this year. If I am making this video, it's basically to continue to encourage you as copers and to let you know that at a time when all the guns and all the odds were against us, you chose to stand with scope. And that convinced me that it is true that very often many are called, but only few are chosen. Over the next few weeks, we are going to be changing the game plan. We are going to be changing the gears and moving into a higher gear. The Secretary General and the Deputy Secretary General will be contacting the heads of committees, the heads of the various units within the office of the chairman to ensure that we push the envelope and get the revolution to a new level. Therefore, this video is basically to call on each and every scope member to put up your hand and indicate your availability to take on more responsibility because these are desperate times and desperate times call for desperate measures. We know, I know that you have all been putting in enormous efforts to get us to where we are. And it is thanks to your efforts and your contributions that we have been able to carry out the various diplomatic offensives that we have done. We have been able to develop the strategy for the economic sabotage that we will be carrying out on the Republic of French Cameroon. It is thanks to your efforts that we have been able to develop the strategy that will enable us to foster humanitarian support to our people, both on ground zero but also those who have had to flee across the borders into neighboring countries. The Secretary General will be contacting you with the plan of action of SCOPE. This will be the plan of action that will be the countdown towards our Congress of the People, which will take place sometime next year. I therefore appeal on every single member to be part of this. It is important that every single head of committee now steps up their game, which means for those who may not be in a position 
to play the role they are supposed to play regularly, we are asking that you hand over the button to somebody else who can take this revolution to the next level. It will be very demanding on us. It will be very challenging, but we are confident because we are equal to the task. This is our burden to carry. We have been called to carry it. And that is why not everybody that is called is chosen. Only those who are chosen are chosen to show leadership. Therefore, I appeal to each and every member, every single leader, as I know that every scope member is a leader, to step up and step up to the challenge and take up a position. Let us start to contribute towards the humanitarian support. Let us try to start to contribute towards the development of the strategy that will move our data center to be operating at an international level. Like I mentioned a few days ago, we have been talking to a number of international players. And if there is one weakness in our revolution, is the fact that we know so much, we talk about so much, but we do not document in a proper manner so that this information can be used to challenge some of those international players who, who seek to distort our story. We need to use the information in order to take some of the, the members of the regime who have been perpetrating acts of crimes against humanity to the International Criminal Court when the time comes. But for us to do all of this, it is important that we have our systems in place in a manner that allows us to do that. I want to thank the members of the data center. I want to thank the members of the humanitarian uh, coordination, as well as our strategy team, uh, our, the various, the different teams, the Women's League, the Youth League, and every other team that has made sure that we take scope to the level at which it is today, where we are being called upon to play a role internationally in fostering our revolution. Let us continue to show leadership and let us continue to support our people on Ground Zero and continue to contribute to ground action like we have been doing without necessarily putting our flag out there. Let us show leadership and lead from behind. I thank you very much.